Okay, um, I believe I figured out what the problem was. Only took a second after I shut the video off. But they are moving, so we know it's running the code where it actually updates their position, which is these, where it takes their A value or B value and, and adjusts it. And this right here. That well, makes total sense. Even though we're stopping the animation from going anymore, that's not the answer, because the animation's at zero already. So, what I need to do is remove these. It's in the wrong spot, basically. I need to put it here. So that, regardless of the animation being at zero, uh, it won't update its location. And I need to do this down here for the ghosts as well. Oops. Uh, the tabbing is just something I do to help organize my block ifs. Haven't saved in a while. Alright, let's see if that makes a difference. Um, you know, let's get rid of the <laughs> let's get rid of where it does the animation to. Because you know what? That controls that controls uh how they look. You know, it it does actually the animation alone shifts where they are standing, so let's try this. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Then let's do something like this. If I'm dead, don't draw the ghosts. So if dying does not equal zero, we don't want to show the ghosts if I die, because I think that's the way it works. Wait, something didn't work. Let's try this again. Do I have this reversed here? If dying is equal to zero. Yeah, I shouldn't have changed that. I don't know why I did. Okay. And that's kind of what we're looking for. The flickering, ignore that. That's because uh, I'm drawing the entire screen right here. Remember, way back I told you this was very sloppy. Instead of just drawing the tiles that they're on. Um, okay, so that's good. Now when I draw myself, I'm going to put the same kind of thing. If dying is zero, so if I'm not dying, draw him normally, uh, Pac-Man. If I am dying, whoops, it's greater than zero, then this is how we want to draw Pac-Man if he has died. Ooh, I'm going to need both of these, aren't I? Okay. We are going to have to pull from down here, so... Well, how many down here? This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Easy enough. Draw it at the normal spot. We can get rid of this whole animation thing. We don't want to shift it. Uh, the direction we don't need. This will be zero for now, and this is ten, I believe. Ten. Well, no, you know what? Ten will take us to here. First, we're drawing the mask. We need to do eleven. Eleven times thirty. But this zero we're going to end up changing because we're going to want it to shift between these as it animates. So, you know, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to say, um, integer dying. The reason I'm doing integer is because I want him to animate dying, but I don't want him to animate quite as fast as he animates when he walks. Just because, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Um, times 30. I guess it's good to sh just to show variation of how you guys can alter the game. B B S R C and you don't have to if I use a couple different techniques in different places, it makes life easier for everybody. Okay, so if that's the case, if dying does not equal zero, somewhere up here I need to increment it. We would normally increment animation. So we say whoop forgot what I had copied. If dying is greater than zero then plus point five. Now we need to have an ending point here. 
So if it equals one, we're he well. Wait a minute. One we're here. Uh, we have to go down here to where it draws and subtract one off of dying. Dying minus one. So that when it's equal to one, that's the same as spot zero. Let's go back up here. I'm paired now that I've forgotten to turn on the timer. Um, dying goes down plus five. So if this is when dying is one, that's two, three, four, five, six, which means once we hit seven, we have to stop. Seven, then let's say let's just end the game by saying timer one dot enabled equals false and message box you know you're dead that works it's simple oh and you know what and then we'll end afterwards just close the program down we're going for simple here let's see if this works something's not working I wonder if I set it properly when he gets hit. Collision. And dying equals one. Okay. Uh, the animation of him dying, it started off right. So I'm going to put a stop in here. So that it'll stop when it hits that line. So once he dies, it should stop when it hits that line right there. So pressing F8 lets me jump through. Dying is 1. Dying is now 1.5. Uh, let's get us down to where we draw. Hit F5 to jump us to this line. So it actually ran through everything, but it stopped it again right here. How come dying is equal to 1 again? Oh, I got it. I'm still getting hit by the ghost. Right here. So, even though I'm already dead, it still shows that I'm dying. So what I need to do here is say, if... Eh, it's the same thing here. If dying equals zero, then... Got a lot of these. That should solve it. I'm, I'm actually confident enough that it'll solve it that I'm going to get rid of this. And when I press play, I will have probably been wrong, and I'm going to look like an idiot. So, F5... Haha, it works. And um, the little like spark that happens at the end, I probably shouldn't have made it black because I can't see it. So I'm going to open this up in paint. Where am I at? Oh, I hear the thing beeping at me. I probably have another few seconds though before I run over. So, select all, copy it, paste it in, and let's see if I can get myself killed. Blink. You're dead. It works. And let me save the video.